Welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. So we signed up for a state cook-off association ribeye cook-off. And this is going to be test cook number one. And you're invited to come along for the ride. So we're starting here with a couple of ribeyes. Uh, they're just choice, choice cuts here. Not a whole lot of marbling, but uh, they look pretty good. Uh, the one on the left is a little bit smaller than the one on the right. So what we're going to do here is uh, do a little competition uh, trimming. And uh, we're just going to get rid of the unnecessary fat, some of the, that little uh, silver skin. Uh, and we're going to trim it up. Uh, judges typically don't want any unnecessary fat. Um, this is strictly a competition type of trim. Um, do it any way you want. This is actually the first time I've tried trimming a ribeye and uh, right now I'm just doing a test cook. Um, we're going to compare a couple different methods we're going to use to, to season up the steaks. Um, I'll probably get better at trimming uh, as uh, time goes on. we got two or three more of these cooks to practice with. We're still about two months away from the uh, cook-off. So again, um, fat tail, getting rid of any of that uh, silver skin. Really, you don't need to trim this uh, for backyard barbecue. This is just strictly a competition thing. Um, you can use the trimmings for beef stock. Uh, I'm saving a few of the pieces of fat. We're going to use those a little bit later. And uh, stick around, I'll show you uh, what I'm going to be doing with them. So one of the uh, the bigger of the two, we're going to use a schmear, uh, which is basically just some kind of liquid that uh, you put onto the uh, steak. The one on the right, the smaller of the two, we're using avocado oil, and the one on the left, the bigger, we're going to be using Worcestershire sauce, and we're just going to rub it in both sides, and then we're going to use a Himalayan sea salt, nice and coarse ground, both sides, and then a coarse ground black pepper. Make sure you use a nice coarse ground black pepper. And that's just all we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use a little bit of butter. There's the fat from the trimmings and some hickory chunks. And we're going to be using that center grilling grate on the Weber. Uh, of course, we're going to be using some Kingsford charcoal for uh, fuel and some, uh, some Weber grilling uh, trays right in the middle there. And we'll be putting the uh, chunks of hickory kind of down in the middle to add a little bit of zing. Yeah, there's Deb. So the charcoal is coming up to temperature and the steaks have been sitting for about a half hour. I, I marked the one on the left as the one with the uh, Worcestershire sauce. And you see the hickory uh, chunks of wood there uh, spaced out a little bit. And Pat says it's time to start cooking. So charcoal is starting to look a little ashy, so we went ahead and put it on. I skipped the showing you guys. So what I did is I put the steaks off to the side to kind of warm them up. Uh, my choice to do this, a little experiment. Uh, I don't want to put them on there um, too cold. So we're going to kind of let them cook a little bit offset kind of bring up that temperature slowly and then we're going to use a piece of the fat from the trimmings to actually uh, grease up the uh, the Weber grilling grate. You know those already have those cross hatch grate marks or whatever uh, you know but I don't think I'm going to have them on there long enough to really get really good grill marks. So now we'll just go ahead and put them on there. It's a little close to the flames, but uh, I was watching the time here really closely. I think that the uh, the grilling grates uh, that I ordered should be coming in in a couple days. I'm going to be using those, but uh, for now this is working. So after about two and a half minutes, we flipped them, and uh, notice the spinalis coming off a little bit there. That's all right. Just kind of push it back. I didn't tie these up. 
didn't have any uh, butcher's twine available. So taking that butter, avocado oil, and garlic salt mix, when you flip them, that's when you want to start basting with that butter. Now with grilling grates, we wouldn't get the flame up quite as bad, but that never hurt anything, I guess. You definitely need to watch the internal temperature at this point. So I'm just going to leave them on the uh, grilling grates long enough to, to get a nice sear. Since I offset cook it a little bit, uh, they already kind of warmed up. So here in uh, a couple minutes, I'm going to pull them off to the side again. And then I'm going to be watching that internal temperature very closely. And right there, 130, it's time. And I think Deb agrees. So here we go. Again, the Worcestershire sauce steak is on the left, and the one with the uh, avocado oil is on the right. And I think it came out uh, in a few areas. It kind of came out medium rare, but overall it was mostly medium, and that's what we want with the SCA cook-off. Um, the spinalis is usually that section of the steak where the judges are going to go for first. That's what they want to try. It's the most flavorful, uh, tasty. It's opposite where the bone would be. Um, yeah, I just tried a piece myself and it tasted really good. Um, I'll probably do a much better trim next time and get, uh, get rid of a lot of more of the unnecessary uh, chunks of fat and stuff, but uh, for now it was just kind of a, a warm-up cook and uh, kind of test my technique. Um, a little underdone in places again, but I, I, I think medium uh, came out pretty good. Um, we ended up liking the avocado oil smeared ribeye best. Uh, not sure why. Uh, it just tasted better. Whereas the Worcestershire sauce just, just just didn't have that really good meat flavor. Something something wrong with it. I'm not sure what. But uh, here I'm cutting the spinalis, the most uh, tasty part of the uh, ribeye cap. If you ever get a chance to try some cap steak, uh, the spinalis is what uh, they use. And uh, next time I do one of these cooks, probably uh, tie them up with some butcher string. Do a little deeper trim so anyway thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe we'll see you next time